Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm have a video which is going to be on Universal Radio Hacker, and I'm going to use my RTLSDR dongle to 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 find out the spectrum to do a spectrum analysis. All right, uh, this is a very cool software, uh, Universal Radio Hacker. I have used previously to actually hack into or just try to decode the signal related to your presenters and the clicker that you use to uh, change the presentation remotely. Uh, so I have used Pluto SDR uh, previously and Pluto SDR is actually a full functional device. I mean, it's a full duplex device and where you can transmit and receive at the same time. And of course, definitely this is a costly device. And so what we're going to look at RTL SDR dongle, which is right now connected to my computer, as you can see. And we're also going to look at Hack RF as well. Uh, we're going to try to connect Hack RF and try to see what type of signals I can I can capture. Uh, I'm working indoors, which means I might have an issue in terms of frequency. But just let's just quickly look at it. So when you open this up, uh, this is what you will see. Uh, this is the first thing that you will see on your page. So what do you need to do? You need to go to File, and then sorry, this is quite time. So you need to go to File, URH File, and go to Spectrum Analyzer. This is where you need to go spectrum analyzer so once you click on your spectrum analyzer make sure whichever device you have either hack rf blade rf pluto sdr or rtl sdr dongle make sure it's connected to your pc uh, like in my case you can just simply go here uh, go to device uh, click on rtl sdr and just simply click on this this is just a device identifier automatically detects your sdr just simply click on this and you'll get a serial number and whatever. Uh, the RTL SDR dongle that I'm using, it is by NULAC. Uh, this is a dongle which is at least, I would say, 10, 12 years old. Uh, the dongle that I'm using right now. Of course, there are multiple versions of it now. RTL SDR version 3, version 4, and thing like that. The sampling rate for this dongle, uh, when I purchased it about 12, 13 years ago, it's at about uh, around 2 mega. So let me change the sample rate to 2 mega. Just simply go here and click 2 and type capital M. Simply go here, 2 mega. That's it. That's all you need to do. These are a couple of the parameters that you need to change. What uh, what spectrum you want to explore, that's the next thing. So if you want to explore any spectrum that is, uh, so just simply, so the RTL SDR dongle that I'm using, it's actually from 50 megahertz all the way up to around 1700 megahertz, 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, you can just tune into any frequency you want. So let's just leave it at 433.92 and just simply click start. Uh, so once you click start, uh, now everything looks like we're setting up all the values that you have set. So we're good to go. Now, just simply explore it, move this. Uh, I know I don't have a very good antenna and the connection that I have is, is, is not a very good connection but I'm just going to try to see if I can look at uh, signals that are like somewhere around uh, 935, 935 megahertz or something like that so you can just go to your frequency simply type 9.35, I don't know, 9.2, people will be thinking he's being very specific but all right, 935.92. So let's just simply look at it. Let's, so what I'm doing now, instead of changing it, just clicking here to tuning into different frequencies, just to see if I if I if I'm seeing any any signals at that point. Because the antenna that I'm using is it's not a very good antenna. Might be seeing some frequency, and I'm working indoors, so. That's why. Uh, let me go to an FM band. Just go to 100 megahertz, mega, and let's see if I can see something at 100 megahertz. All right. This is basically how the spectrum looks like uh, when you're working with URH. Um, it's actually there are better software uh, for better software than this when you just want to do a spectrum analysis. Uh, like GQRX is one of the uh, one of it is one of the best software I, I think it I believe is one of the good softwares that you can use. 
uh, but uh, this is actually truly good when you want to actually capture the signal at the same time you want to transmit that signal so for example in my last video I'll leave a link where I have used a clicker or present presenter to actually record that signal and try to replay try to do a replay attack on it uh, so this software is quite good for that so so that's the idea behind this uh, you just simply tune into different frequencies and try to see if uh, uh, what type of a signal that you're getting in your spectrum. I'm just going to simply stop this and I'm going to go and open GQRX for you. All right, just, I just want to show you something. Uh, just simply go to your terminal and uh, of course you need to have all of these softwares because you need to install it. You need to install, once you install GUN Radio, these softwares already come pre-compiled except for URH which is a universal radio hacker. All right. I just want to quickly just I just want to take you to uh, to um, what do you call um, let me just open up my terminal and uh, shell new window all right I want to open GQRX I just want to show you the difference between GQRX and URH what is the difference even though my, my this thing is connected now just, just go to my devices let me just simply go to my devices configure io devices right here uh this thing is already rtl is connected this has already detected and just simply click ok and let's hit play button this is i mean when it comes to an spectrum and when it comes to an analyzing in spectrum you're going to simply turn off the modulation demodulation part uh, input control right here. Just gonna simply turn this off, the mod off. Not seeing much, but by changing frequency, you can easily see the spectrum and things like that using an antenna that I have. So this is much better software as compared to uh, uh, URH and things like that. Definitely, definitely, there are different softwares which are also there. Um, you can prove, first of all, my antenna is no good. So, I'm going to say this antenna is no good. I need to get a good antenna or design a good antenna. So, this is another software that you can play around with RTL, SDR, and all. Um, you, you can also do the same thing with your hack RFs uh, to actually explore the spectrum using URH and things like that. Uh, so that's the idea behind this uh, if you have any questions uh, don't forget to leave it in the comment section if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel